It's your boy here. Uh, today I have the Indian Challenger Pursuit. This is the big, this is the big dog. It's the big one. Uh, there's two versions of the Challenger. It's the regular Challenger and the Challenger Pursuit. Which this bike is. This bike has a lot of kind of go fast bits on it. You know, for or more for for like cornering and stuff. But it has a lot of stuff. Uh, that kind of makes me believe this bike is 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 meant to you know maybe take some corners a little bit you know uh, maybe the the lower Challenger a little bit better because it's lighter doesn't have that big uh, trunk on the back uh, but has Brembo monoblock brakes on both sides um, fog lights this extra piece which you can kick close actually with your foot so you just reach up kick it and then I don't see how you're gonna well, you can kick it closed. I don't see how you're going to get it open with your foot, but there you go. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, floorboards, as you see, big old brake pedal, which is which is actually quite nice. Um, floorboards for the passenger as well. Lots of old storage. This bike has lots of old storage. Big old trunk with all my stuff in it. Yep, got to make sure you close it good and tight. But I'm not going to spend too much time here at the recording location because I really, really, really want to take this bike out on the highway. <laughs> because just riding over here, I was I was absolutely amazed how this bike felt. Uh, Engine-wise, how, how much different it feels compared to the uh, 116 motor. And the uh, Chief Thin, not the Chief Thin, the uh, Chief Dark Horse and the Springfield Dark Horse. I haven't, I don't think I've ridden the Chief Thin. No, I haven't ridden the Chief Thin yet. Uh, I actually like this, uh, oh, let me turn this down just in case. Uh, I actually like this navigation hookup a lot. I mean, it's, it's really nice. Uh, so you can click this and you can i'm not really sure if this does anything because i didn't look at it while i was riding but we'll see later if it does anything but you got your fuel range your volts uh i think that's the mileage between oil change uh your, your service interval uh, and the entire psi pops up at you know once you get some heat in the tires uh, this is pretty cool you got a tack here even if you want to just leave it on the screen you still got a tack right there and miles per hour even though they have them permanently mounted right there also fuel range is up there too along with uh i believe that's the mileage on the bike so that's that that always stays on and you click click that here you got the uh the current ride you know whatever you want to do and i believe this is a that looks like a garage home link um which is pretty cool that's pretty cool and then this is the screen i like that you can have keep your map up and then you could use this button to zoom out on the map that's cool let's see what okay does nothing okay and then this this button here you can use this to uh uh cycle between music and play pause and the volume all that good stuff and this bike also does have apple carplay i have my phone connected through bluetooth because as you see there's an um there's an android there so uh, this screen is pretty pretty cool too, pretty straightforward. Also, you can cycle through with the buttons on the back of the this part here. You hit that and, that, and you can get to whatever screen you want. And then that, I'm not sure what that does. I mean, I, I know what it does, but I'm not sure. You know, it's just an easy way to pull that screen up while you're on the map, I guess. And then your modes, you either press this this button here or reach up pull it down standard rain sport and then you have your shock preload there and then uh this is for baggage so you just press it oh. these gloves you just press it and now you got shock preload for two go back to one uh, that's this is for i guess if you have any baggage on it can adjust for that too and then you can fine tune it yourself you got like I say, heated seats, front uh, passenger, and the driver, the driver, heated grips, and from what I can see, 
there oh wow yes yeah, so there's a lot of levels of adjustment so there you go then you got notifications that's pretty cool but as far as the infotainment system that's that's the that's the basics of it um i forgot to tell you about this storage up here a little bit of storage in there same thing on the other side also you uh believe this is for the heated grip so that way you don't have to go through the screen you can just reach down do that this is the lock button down here for the saddlebags um and yeah there's there's a lot on this bike a lot of comfort oriented stuff and then the windscreen to adjust it you can either hold it down to where you want it or you can double depress it does it itself same thing going up now the windscreen i'll talk about that more later because there is some things to talk about with that um but i'm gonna do a quick 0 to 60 and braking test real quick so that way i can um get out there on the road this bike has to be back at one so i'm gonna get going oh forgot this bike does have the uh, the auto start feature where you just tap the button and also the fog lights which i did show a little bit it's hard to tell when they're on but once you, you know, once you play with it a little while, you'll you'll get the hang of it. The clutch. All right. The clutch on this bike is very very smooth i mean i've never felt the clutch pull quite like that before quite like this before uh it's completely different than anything i've ever ridden um and this bike everything is just about being smooth you know just floating along this is i mean this is the best thing i've ever ridden to this date in terms of comfort just pure comfort this is this is this is the best i've ever experienced it just it just rolls over in the corner it doesn't this is i need to i need to figure out the weight i don't i didn't remember to look but this bike doesn't feel you can feel the weight a little bit but it doesn't feel quite as heavy as, as as it looks all right getting back going the bike doesn't feel as heavy as you might think it would and it actually you know once you get once you get used to it you know when you first get on this bike you're not going to want to turn it because you feel like it's going to fall over but once you you know ride this bike for a while you start to see it it's not going to fall over you know it does have a six axis imu which does all sorts of magic trickery um, as you're riding but this bike overall feels very very stable so let's go ahead and line her up for a quick zero to sixty I'm gonna do zero to 60 in the braking test all in one so that way I can get on the road. So just bear with me as I turn this big girl around. gonna engage sport mode because when I rode the uh, Springfield yesterday I forgot to turn sport mode on <laughs> in the middle of doing this so I'm just gonna start in sport so bike isn't that intimidating um, to me so uh, in terms of speed off the line there's also trash control which I just leave on because it I don't see it really doing anything weird all right so let's do it like like always guys no tricks just gonna launch it Oh wow. Whoa, whoa. 
Holy crap. I got to do that again. There's no way. Okay, so wow. This bike is just this bike is <laughs> lost for words. Okay, sport mode is different. I did that earlier in standard and it did not feel like that. I it did not feel like that. What the heck? The throttle feels similar to before, but the engine just it launched with a ferocity I wasn't ready for. All right. We're going to do that again. And I'm surprised I got to 60 and braked before the GoPro. That I didn't expect that. And and I think I could have braked sooner. I mean, a little harder. But I didn't want to the tires aren't fully up to temperature so I don't want to put too much uh put too much on them but uh we're gonna do that again uh and this time I'm gonna try to get dig into the brakes a little more all right ABS came on <laughs> Rather aggressively, I, I got out of it because uh, tires start squealing. <laughs> oh, this bike is fast, guys, and it breaks. It when it when it breaks, it's an event. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna wake you up if you you know just cruising, and you have to slam on the brakes on this bike. It's gonna wake you up. Um, so keep that in mind. But you need to ride this bike. You need to take it out. Uh, at uh, the Indian dealership I rented this from you can take this bike out for eight hours for a hundred bucks And to me I was gonna do it, but I said I'd rather do two bikes than just one for eight hours, you know, so uh, So for four hours, I'm doing two bikes, you know, and then I could do two more if I so cho chose but We're just gonna we're gonna save some for later, you know But this bike guys hundred dollars for eight hours. I'd do it uh, I can't wait to ride the Challenger because I don't need all the extra, you know, heated seats and all the extra stuff. This big thing on the back, I don't really need all that. Uh, so the Challenger would be more what what I would what I would get. But for somebody that does a lot of touring, I can see why you would get this bike. Yeah, I like this thing. All right, so. Bear with me, I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and start this highway run. Yeah, I need a bike with cruise control. This is the life. This is it. Until this car cuts me off. This is it. Oh yeah, I do. I, I haven't mastered the body control yet, but you know, you can like oh yeah, that was dangerous. You can like just lean and just change its direction. Like you don't even have to. I'm not do I'm not riding this bike. I'm being I'm being chauffeured. This is this is this is awesome. This is just great. Oh my god. All right, so this bike out on the highway. A few things you need to know. If you have the windshield all the way down and you have a helmet on like mine, you're gonna get buffeted a lot. So you know you gotta find, like right now I can barely see, so I gotta lift it up. It's, it's for me it's all the way up or it's nothing even in the city and they just there we go we messed up my moments anyways uh, but I absolutely love this bike on the highway oh my god I mean when I say this is fantastic man I mean this is fantastic it, it, I don't care if you ride an R1 uh, a Ducati I don't care what you ride it's just something about getting on a big bike like this and slowing down that you will never understand until you ride one. You need to ride one. I mean, if you're watching this review, you may, you, you might be interested. But this, I love this bike. This is very nice. Uh, very nice. Very comfortable. I mean, I'm, oh God, what can I say? Uh, let's see, do I feel... That's very nice. The, uh, the, the air inlets for... For your feet your legs i love those those are nice they're not so bad like you you you, you don't uh you notice them you know does that mean they're good 
You know, if you don't notice it working, I mean, it must be good. You know, I'm gonna try to close it. Let's see what happens. Closing. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Then you can just reach down, open her back up. Let's re-engage cruise control as I ride past this trucker. Very dangerous. I'm gonna show, show him how. I, oh, I'm being pushed. All right, back to this. Let me see if I can change lanes. I see a guy change lanes with no head. Oh, I did it! <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun on an old man bike. This bike handles well, feels great on the highway. Um, it's very comfortable. I still have a whole, a whole hour with this bike, so I'm just gonna ride around. What's up? What's up? I'm just gonna ride around. You know, once I get toward, more towards the end, then I'll uh, come back with my final thoughts of this bike, but I just felt like you guys needed to know how it was on the highway. You know, one, one thing, one thing. The stereo is pretty good. 100 watts, uh, one, two, three, four speakers. There's two in the in the trunk that face you. And and, one, and I was riding, I'm like, is there two speakers back here? Because it sounds like surround sound. Even with a full-face helmet, I can hear just fine on the highway with my, with my visor closed. So, guys, this thing is great. Uh, this thing is great. It, it, when I decide I don't, I don't want to go fast anymore, this is how I'm gonna. This is how I'm gonna go down the highway. This is it. This is how. This is how I'm gonna do it. Just like this, watching out for idiots. So I'll be back, guys, with my final thoughts. But for now, you guys stay frosty. All right, guys, back off the highway run. I ran it a good long time. I'm actually, I actually got back too soon. I could have went further, but I hit traffic, so I said I'll just turn around. Uh, but this bike is just, oh my god, I, 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 I've fallen in love a little bit, you know. Uh, not saying I'm gonna go sell my Yamaha and go get one of these, but it's as terms as, as in terms of, uh, you know changing your perspective on a bike you know a certain bike class you know you look at these cruises big slow whatever whatever uh grandfather bikes whatever up oh, shifted into neutral uh but not anymore that's how they used to be you know but this bike has some technologies that sport bikes have you know like the the six axis imu and it, it has something else something it does something with the steering because I felt it. When you get up to a certain speed, that steering stiffens up. Like right now, it's nice and loose. I can do stuff like this, you know, turn. Uh, but when you get up to a certain speed, I, I, let me see if I can demonstrate. You see, it's nice and flicky now, but you hit a certain speed and it's like it tightens up. It does something. It's, it's hard to explain. You, you know, you, it's something you got to experience for yourself, you know. Um, but this bike on the highway was just a blast. The music was perfect. I can hear every word. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Buddy Tanner just called to check in on me real quick. So back to what I was talking about. This bike is great. I don't remember exactly what I was saying. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start heading back because I gotta fuel this bike up. Um, but it's very comfortable. It. it it feels oh, I want to show you guys something else that's why I came back back over here uh, this bike is very easy to ride I mean I don't know if it's just me or the fact that I'm already used to a cruiser and and how they you know how they move how they turn I'm not all the way used to this I kind of run wide when I'm turning tight turns a little bit you know still that thing in the back of your head that says uh, don't drop it you know and but this this if this was my bike I'd take more chances with it, but it's not my bike, so I'm not taking any chances with it. So I'll go as slow as I want to in a turn. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how easy this bike is to ride with a little bit of slow drag race action. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna, I'm a, you know how slow drag race works. We go, we gonna just go ahead and do it. Don't stall it. Come on. Too much gas. The throttle is so sensitive that uh see i'm right at the bike point so i almost stalled this so i'm gonna I'm a back out while i before i uh drop somebody's thirty thousand dollar bike um but 
the brake for some reason you know I, and I, I did remember I didn't mention the brakes it's a uh, 320 up front 298 in the back and uh, the back for some reason it just didn't feel like it wanted to hold maybe it was just me but like right there oh yeah rear brake rear brake is actually fine you know and then with the front brake the only thing I don't like is the lever it kind of forces your hands into a, a, a into the into the smaller part whatever you call the curve of the the bar I just wish it was a little bit flatter more towards the towards your hand so that way you can get more than uh, you know two fingers on the three fingers you can do three fingers but it doesn't feel right because how, how your hand sits you know you're too close to that curvy part but uh, other than that though this bike is fantastic and I do recommend it uh, if you just cruise around the city you know like right now I'm doing 55 and it really doesn't feel like it like I don't feel like I'm doing anything you cruise around like this having the windshield down is fine or if you have a different helmet these helmets uh, even with the visor down it does the same thing so um, these helmets usually do that if you have a, a windscreen it did it on my Triumph not as bad because the windscreen literally the wind went right over the top of my head so uh, this 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 bike I, 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 is no more I'm ready to ride the Challenger is up next I should have did that first because this is just an upgraded Challenger uh, but uh, there was a misunderstanding at the dealership no worries I'll just uh, I can still compare the two because I'm riding them back to back so I'm gonna go ahead and get some fuel in this thing maybe ride around a little bit more just this area so see see what's what but um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out with that guys I think I, I think I said enough to make you to, to help you to see if this is if this bike is even worth going to do a test ride and I say it is you know and if you go to Indian like I said eight hours gets you um, eight hours for a hundred bucks that's not bad uh, uh, that's better than spending uh, thirty thousand dollars on a bike just to find out you don't really like it that much so you know take it out for eight hours or you can take it out longer any amount is always going to be less than the amount you're going to spend on the bike I, I, I say it's worth it you know what I'm saying if there was an opportunity for me to, to ride my bike before I got it I would have done it you know just to make sure and and that sometime that changes your mind on if you even like the bike nobody's gonna ride this bike like this but I am but all right guys that's it pulling into to the to the gas station here and y'all take it easy you got any questions comments concerned you know what to do later